he uses uh, opiates to to keep his tunnel vision and to stay on his sinister track. I'm Norman Ola. I wrote a book called Blitzed. It's uh, an account about the drug abuse in Nazi Germany. Führer propaganda always made it clear that Hitler takes no drugs, doesn't drink alcohol, and uh, was kind of portrayed as a health nut. Um, the big irony is that when he meets uh, Theo Morell, his personal physician, he starts getting daily injections. First, these injections are vitamins and glucose, but in '41 that changes to hormone injections and in 43 it changes to opiates. The last months of, of that crucial uh, year of the war, 1944, uh, he becomes dependent on opiates. 20 milligrams of a very strong uh, half-synthetic opioid injected intravenously, it has a tremendous effect on how you would interact with other people during that uh, day and what, what, what thoughts you might have and what visions you might have. My research shows that the drug addiction actually keeps him stable in a time where everyone around him was changing opinion about how the war should be, should be fought and uh, generals uh, urging him to change his tactics. Uh, he used these strong opiates to shelter him off from reality. I call this the bunker mentality and blitzed. Um, he does not look at reality anymore. He sticks with his pipe dreams, with his ideology. So you could say that he uses uh, opiates to, to keep his tunnel vision and to stay on his sinister track.